That was my ride. Kate's just dropped me off. Here's the start. Well, I'm at the start. This is the far end, or well, far end for me anyway, of the Royal Military Canal. I'm a couple of miles east of Hyde in Kent and I've just got to go that way about 30 miles how much of the actual walk I'm going to film probably not much because it's just me walking boring bloody wobbly camera hang on just stand still it'll be just a boring film with me just walking and walking and walking so I'll just crack on do a fair bit I'll film anything that looks relatively interesting and probably just film the camp halfway so let's start didn't expect to see that on the footpath uh, it's not exactly stealthy is it hey ho well it's nice to get out of the, the town section open countryside now although what I have seen which is what I quite like they've made these sturdy old benches and tables and put metal on one end for your disposable barbecue or stove or whatever makes a lot of sense right keep going I know it's a long way off I'm not even sure you can see it, but ooh, where's my finger there? Little circular concrete thing. It's actually very large. It's an acoustic mirror. Before radar, very beginning of the war, could have been a man up there in front of that, listening for the sounds of planes coming across the channel. How well it worked, I don't know, because it was replaced by radar. But it must have worked to a certain extent, because they built a few of them. This path does go on, and on, and on. Got two parts of history here. This place here is actually Roman, around AD 250, 60. Up on the hill there, on the top, the more modern, I use that carefully, um, is 13th century so been people hanging about here for a long time what a nice area I fancy doing a camp in there at some point mind you that high spot with the woods looks nice too but not today carry on here's another little odd spot high security fencing Is it military? No. Is it anything like that? No. It's Port Lim Zoo Park. We don't really want elephants and rhino out on the footpath. So I'm glad the, the uh, fence is there. That was a weird section to walk. I don't know, it's too far in the distance really, but there's some, I don't know, it's too far off, gazelle, springbok or whatever there, up at, in amongst the trees there, there's some giraffe, um, further back, uh, the giraffe was quite close, and so was the rhino, I couldn't film it any sense because the camera kept auto-focusing on the bloody fence, and I couldn't get too close to it because it's electric anyway, but yes, Nice thing to see as you're walking along. Made me smile. Well, we've uh, we've seen Roman defence. 
We've seen 13 sanctuary events. Now we're up to 20th. Looks in a sorry old state though. Actually looks a bit minging inside. I'm not going in there. You never know what you're going to step in. This has slowed me down a bit. Gone from the decent wide open paths to overgrown uneven stuff like this and about the last 20 minutes or so I was actually wading through waist high stinging nettles which wasn't brilliant so this bit's actually an improvement but it's not flat loads of uh, ankle turners shall we say that slowed my pace right up so overall I think I'm doing okay for time because I made good time at the start. Right, a uh, little update. It's midday and I can't really show you this very well. Um, following this green line, I started off the page somewhere. Um, in here, in here. I'm on this bridge right now and I've still got to do this bit Ham Street is roughly halfway but in an ideal world I'd like to stop at Apple Door uh, let a little bit further and uh, give me a shorter second day so I've got uh, a few miles to go yet Better finish my drink and pull my finger out. I tried to catch a sound that I keep hearing. Um, it sounds like a toad with a sore throat. And it's all along the drainage ditch. So I'm assuming amphibian, but well, it could be some funny little bird. But of course, sod's law, camera out noise stops. Update for you. Not a good one. About an hour ago, going for a load of long grass and nettles and crap, I stepped in what I'm assuming was a rabbit hole or something, I couldn't see. It was too thick undergrowth. And I sort of twisted my knee. It's not bad bad but it's uncomfortable so I'm at Ham Street it's the halfway point so it was my objective for the end of the day I've actually made very good time it's only 20 past 2 just deciding what to do I'm tempted just to hop on the train. After all, I'm doing this for fun. Maybe get the train home, have a night's sleep, you know, rest, rest me leg over the evening, sleep in my own bed, see what it's like in the morning. If it's alright in the morning, maybe come back to Ham Street. And do the other half. I don't know. Don't know now. Just feeling a bit pissed off. Never mind. I'm at the Ham Street station. You can probably hear the announcements going off. It's just whether I cruise it a little way, just having a rest. Whether I'll stop at Rye or go all the way home. Don't know. Pissed off though. Well, I decided to get a train home. It's certainly it's not getting any easier. We're all favouring it a little bit. It's time to take the ankle hurt on the other side. Just to add insult to injury, as it were. But. 
stop at the bugger though, I am. I didn't get the train tasting. Jumped off one early. So, I'm still doing the last bit. Going to walk home. Disappointing? Yes. On the whole, did I enjoy the walk? Yes. Going very well up to lunchtime. Way ahead of schedule. Just wasn't been. Never mind. There's always another time, another adventure.